on the point in car number 92 with the Dodge Avenger as he looks to put the Mopar in the winner's circle for the second straight week and running second to Anderson for the second straight race is Mario Gosselin out of Lake Wales, Florida. He's looking for national sponsorship on his number 10 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. John Crow in the Jackaroo Barbie Sauce Chevrolet. Car number 38 just picked up that sponsor this week. Doing a good job for the folks at Jackaroo running in the third spot. And fourth is Larry Raines in car number 37. And he was at the head of a hard-fought battle with Bobby Gill back there in car number 71. John Blewett in the 82. Green flag is out. Three laps to go. And Larry Raines is off the pace. The fourth-place car did not come up to speed. And Bobby Gill was able to get around. And we've got a big crash in turn number one. One. Styrofoam flying everywhere as Ronnie Sanders involved in the 18 car, the 06, Don Davis Jr. involved, also involved it looks like the number 110 car involved, so some of those cars seen their second accident, the 14S car also involved, and no ladies and gentlemen, you are not seeing snow in July here at Flemington, New Jersey. That is styrofoam as they put the styrofoam blocks up against the wall and the car's hitting that to absorb that impact from the steel guardrail. And let's go to the replay and see what happened in turn number one. Look at this, Mark Bichardi, three wide in turn one. That's not going to work. No, and somebody got up underneath Marilyn McCreary which caused a chain reaction. You see the 10 car, the 18 car, they're on top of each other. Then you see the two cars behind, the 6 and the 14, just getting on the binders, trying to stay out of it. But somebody got into Marilyn McCreary and turned her sideways, which started the chain reaction. And Ronnie Sanders has got to be very thankful that that styrofoam was up there in turn one. He got hooked up and his car slid to the right. And without that styrofoam there, I think Ronnie Sanders would have had some serious damage to car number 18. Right. We have another angle of this replay. There you see the 110 car spinning down on the inside with Marilyn McCrary in the number 57 car. Here comes the 6 car sliding into the picture. There is the 14 car. And about that time, about that time, the track was completely blocked, but the 14 car sliding up in behind Ronnie Sanders as he is in the middle of that blizzard up there, that styrofoam blizzard you see on your screen. It looked like sliding into a snowbank, but it was just a chain reaction type deal, and you gotta feel sorry for Ronnie Sanders. You gotta feel sorry for the locals that expected to do real well, but Sanders, what you don't like to do is you don't like to hit flat onto a wall, and that's the way he would have hit. So Ronnie Sanders on the hook, headed back to the pit area, and you can see him. They put the remains of what they have left of those styrofoam.